Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meat Shield and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Look at that majestic bugger. <laughs> I can't help but just admire creatures or machines like the Tallnecker. It looks fascinating. But today I want to go and find Naltuk. Yes. Hopefully. I also need to switch my arrows back over. Stocked up. Let's go and find this apprentice. So with, it, with it being a shaman's apprentice, so it's somewhat similar to a sorcerer's apprentice. We get into realms of Fantasia. I don't know. I'm certainly looking forward to. Oh. What the hell in that thing? Hi. Control tower. How are you? Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Aurea. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Ooh. Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, are they part of your corruption? Um, those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Hmm. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Soraya wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. Helpful. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, thanks. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Right. Destroy or override the tower? Hmm. Yeah, well, I'll have those. Let's see if I can override it. Oh, shit. Pulse is taking my shields down, it seems. Yep. I need to be wary of that long leg. And the shields aren't really the problem. As long as my health is fine. Whoop. Have I got anything around me? I think I'm clear. Let's give this a go. Clunk! Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. Something spotted me. I don't know what it is. It's fine. It's overridden. Nice. Kill the machines. Alright, oh, that's something I can definitely do. Come here and let me clobber you. I can have some. Ow. Fucking cheeky bastard. Nope. Have that. Come on. Get him. There we are. Nope. These things are always bastards. 
Whoop. Get some. Fucking hell, where am I? What am I where am I going? Look. I am just trying to twat you. Can I do that please? Thank you. Yeah, have some of that. Whoop. Oh, come here. Get clobbered. Bonk. There you go. Yeah. Have that. Hmm. What does overriding it do for me, though? Other than draw everything to my bloody presence. Oh, no. But let's go and see what old Nell Tuck has to say about it. Wherever he is. Where is he? Oh, he's still up here. Uh, like that. Thank you. Oh, what do you think Seems of that? I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. Hmm. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll okay. know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. Okay. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. I kind of assumed as much, having been to the merchants already, but, you know, it's good. Bergen told me you're Araya's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Araya's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Hmm. Were you with Araya? When they attacked the mountain. I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. Uh, okay. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. I'll pass along the message. Okay. Right. I guess I'm off to the ice rasps. Find this shaman's path. Yeah. Let's see where we're going for that. That's a fair ways up. Oh, oh that's where I need to go do the, the the lake stuff. Okay. Maybe we could have a look at that on our way over. There's a fire over here somewhere. Oh. And a load of demonic machines. I don't quite know what they're fighting. They're upsetting all the goats. Come on, down you go. We need, uh, need some stuff from it. Are they fighting each other? No, they're fighting people. Alright. Let me, uh, go and lend a hand. Oh, it's just scrappers. That's fine. Oh, fucking hell, not fine. Oh, Jesus. Thank God for my shields. Get out. There you go. And... 
be gone. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Ow! Fucking calm down, sprightly little bitch. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'll say, like, these demonic ones are, like, even more of a pain in the ass than the corrupted ones. No space. No space? Damn it. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Ooh. Oh no, it's, it's just the tall neck. I prevailed. With help? <laughs> you can't take all the credit for that. You were really struggling before I showed up. Ooh, fuck. Snap moors. Demonic snap moors. As if they needed to be any worse. Fuck. This looks to be some sort of reservoir or something. But what I need to do is down in there, so that's just great. <sighs> How am I going to deal with you fuckos? I got... I've got the wrong bow for tear blast. Switch out. Try to blast some components off, I think. Where I can. When a target wants to come around. Just stay oh. out of the way for now. <laughs> oh fucking hell, I didn't realise how many there were. I thought there were three, I didn't realise there were four. This is not going to be fun. Blech. Probably knows I'm here now. Yeah, it does. Fuck. Okay, time to run. Right oh. Fucking hate this frost bullshit. Right, you're weak against fire, so let's uh, have a go with that, shall we? Let's see if you enjoy that. Should kill it. Yep. Okay, one down. Your turn. God. You can have some of that. <laughs> Ow, fucking hell, I'm just getting trampled. Oh. I've not been thrown under the bus, but the bus has got teeth. Need more of those. Things are great. I can love them. Oh, right in the face. Get him in the chops. If chops are fucking big enough. Keep quiet now. Right, 
One left. I ain't keeping quiet. I've got explosives. <laughs> That's the one time you don't keep quiet. I'm making my presence known. Fucking have it. Now, oh, fuck. Ooh. Just uh, pull for stuff on me, mate. Oh. Uh, no ammo. Fuck. Yes. Get him. Fucking long range artillery. Nice. Right, one always I. Oh. It's just corruption weaving. I don't really care about that. Probably need to go about, uh. Winning a load of stuff. Right, so... The fucking all of these things? Why are they making noise? I don't get it. I'm going to change my quest over to Waterlog, just so I can uh, figure out where I'm going and what I'm doing. Wait, I need to go this way? Oh, right, okay. Okay. Campfire discovered, so I'll go and mark that off. These mountains must be the ice rasps. Hmm. The shaman's path begins somewhere at the bottom. Aye. So I'll follow the river upstream. And we're following. What am I hearing? I'm hearing something. I don't know what it is. No, oh, I think it's foxes. It's weird, they occasionally like have these sorts of weird, almost mechanical sounding noises to them. That may be more just because, you know, the machines have, you know, kind of somewhat animalistic sounds to them. So it just blurs together and I don't know what's what. <laughs> it's a damn fine thing to look at. Also nice to see the aurora. Ooh. Nice. Yay for data points. Okay. Grey catch. Hmm. Let's see what we find around here, see if we can Fix this situation. Oh. Okay. In we go. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dent? Hmm. Oh no, we should poke around and find out. Looks like a control center. Uh -huh. What happened in here to start the water flowing? Don't know. Let's uh have a look. Alright, so okay, like how do we want to start this for a while? Uh Gilden. Right. Drainage system offline. Intake tower malfunction. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. I said that. That's probably not good news. No, it's flashing red, so you know it's really bad. Oh right, I need to find a power cell. Another holographic interface. Yeah. There must be some kind of code. 
Yeah, but Maybe I mean... We should try scanning objects in this area. Yes, but we also need a power cell to be able to actually work with it. Hmm. I think there's a door over this way. That Osiron must have forced his way through. Yep. I've really? Well, let me see if I can lend a hand. Probably a blast door. gone cold. But nope. Nope. <laughs> Not old Gildan. This one has spirit. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> when you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire but as you may have noticed the door won't budge i took one of those roundish ringy what's it's from the wall beside the door no luck so i had to go with that panel with the button even less luck my gentle experimentation caused the chamber to what a little so i pushed the button again perhaps a little too enthusiastically sparks and smoke <laughs> now obviously i came here to investigate my cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. <laughs> when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. Right. So basically he fucked up. In short. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder smiling and one of these looking glasses it's in the storage room oh yes i'm quite sure i peered into that dim little chamber and there it was i've wanted to find one for so long i yes this time i'm sure i have okay this guy's quite the character well there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring it's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door you don't say well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours. And with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. <laughs> This guy writes like he's doing like some sort of dissertation and he's just trying to find, you know, long words and lots of words to make up the word count. I've, I've been that dude. I know where he's coming from. <laughs> so you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also quite by accident. <laughs> the panel's the only way to shut this place down as far as I can tell. This isn't going to be easy. Mm. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. Okay. 
So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. Okay. Lead the way, Gildan. You ridiculous oddball. <laughs> Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. All right. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? I'm on it. Don't you worry about that. I think I could dive into the deepest, deepest depths of this facility and I'd still be able to hear him. <laughs> right. Oh, down. Thank you. Stagnant water. Mm. I'm assuming this is the right way. Aha. Uh -huh. Marvelous. You made it. Now grab that valve and give it a spin. Will do. Or do you want to do yours? There, you should be able to lower the gate. Great, you are. Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Gotta lock this thing in place. Okay. There we go. One Sweet. gate down. Halfway through, then, aren't we? To the second gate! Okay, lead the way. Oh, right. He's a been here before. Either a long time or he's been here before. And depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's true. The ladder serves a very distinct and unique purpose. Are we gonna get up there? Looks like a picture of a cross on that. Or can you rest in purple? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Whoop. Oh. Nailed that landing. Nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! Link. Never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Oh, I know. I think. Okay, uh, nope, I'm gonna go up. There we go. Oh, you're close, girl. Just spring across the gap. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Ah, uh -huh. you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. I'm doing. Look out below. All right, now I best, bet he's gonna stay in this one, now and I'll this go for the other. Before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you take the valve on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should look for an access tunnel. Yeah. Ooh, what have I found here? Ah, medicinal stuff. Ooh. Uh, oh, okay. Through here. I don't know, this place is cool. I like it. It's fascinating to get to explore something like this in real life. I, mean, I don't know how secure I'd feel exploring it to this extent after it had been sitting here for god knows how many years. What, a thousand? Uh, okay. Oh! Splish splash. Never swim. 
But even so, getting a poke around old ruins is just cool. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. Whoa, okay, what happened there? Working. Damn thing's too heavy. You're too heavy. Behind me, would you? <laughs> See anything big and uh, broken? Um. Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. Good climb up that wreckage. Much what I do. Oh. Okay. I hope this is a wise decision. And all right, where f where now? Oh right, okay, further up. And around and around we go. Donk. There we go. Nice. Um, am I going a bit too far? Oop. Okay, there we go. Got it. We're good to go. Well, come on, lock it. There we go. Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? well, there we go. Yeah, I, I see it. Where is he? Very, very big. Just stay Can he just way? shush? All right, uh, I need to go around this way. Uh huh. It's only one. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, right. Drop down. Oh! oh. Skloosh. If I handle this the exact same way I did the others, this shouldn't be a problem. Alright. Come here. Gotcha. Alright, it's on fire. Time for bombs. Get some. Get some. Fucking get some. If the snap mall swallowed it, don't worry, I'll go we'll rooting around his belly. It. It's, it's dead. dead. <laughs> so, the uh, ring. Maybe if you try it, jaws open and reach inside, guy can't look. Yeah, there it is. You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. Handling coil. Ha, ha! Mm. That's the old gilded intuition and in action. Never led me astray. Sure, its chosen roots can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. <laughs> to the storage room. To the spoils. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of some shite mods for a moment. That one. Good. Should we have a look? Didn't you want to get into the storage room? I do. Fervently. But, well, I got time to poke my nose in if you did. Oh, I suppose. I have been asked to remind you that conversations determined to be a 
relevant to servitor training are discouraged. <laughs> what were you saying about vandalizing government property? <laughs> All right, time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this oh. as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry, I think I've got this. Music to my ears, to each job its proper tool. Toothpicks okay. make horrible arrows, as the uh -huh. saying goes. That didn't help. The water can't pass through. Okay, that works. That's not quite right. Yeah. But if it goes through this one, it's going into a broken pipe. So that's not helpful. Am I meant to be doing this anyway? Like, check quests. Got There's a nothing interesting mind, in there. Girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Oh right, hang on, give Not me I. That. No, indeed. Not old Gildan. I'll turn you that way. Not that one. I'm gonna go over there. Ow. Not helpful. Something's not right. No. This job demands a certain degree. Okay, so it's gotta go over there. But can you be rooted somewhere else? No. There's no pipe under there. Looks like I'm on the right track. Uh, are we though? I don't feel like we are. Because it goes through to here, and then I can't send it anywhere else. There, one step closer. All right, I'm gonna. No, that—that's the only way that can go. Been at this a while, girl. No room to judge, mind. Right, okay, hang on. Let me send it this way. <laughs> then, yep, that's correct. Getting there. We're getting there. Send it off this way. Mm hmm. This way. Aha. There, that should do it. Nice. Got it working, did you? <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Never met a conundrum you couldn't unconundrum, have you? No, I suppose not. <laughs> I do. I do like to try, especially getting all puzzly. Drummer's weapon coil. Smells like a Ford side morning in the claim. Hmm. Compensatory damages. D that all sounds a bit familiar with uh, <laughs> after playing Final Fantasy VII. Uh, this reeks of a boss fight area. I don't know if I trust it. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room... Hey, don't worry, we're getting there. Up and up and up we go. I bet you can. So we'll get Almost back there, there first. He is in a real rush. Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand, just like Mum and I used to. He's very, very focused on that looking glass. Oh, 
Alright. Let's get this activated. I don't quite know what he sees in there, but then I don't know what he's looking for. Alright. Let's see what we got on this. The lock positions. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Left, up, down, up, right. So, left, uh, up. What? Down, um, up, right. What are you doing with your hands there, girl? Uh, oh, wrong way. I am doing a secret code. I'll open the door. Ta da! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. That's just a clock. So sure. Right there in the window. I would. Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Ugh! By the Great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh, believe we have some repairs to make. That's true. Bless him. I, I was somewhat expecting him to, like, dick me over for some reason. I don't know, he was just enamored with this dream of finding... Finding something from his youth. That was really quite sweet. Stop that. Okay. Uh, I just need to find this part. Uh, I'll power cell. Okay. Let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Replace this. <laughs> oh, that's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. <laughs> By the forge! <laughs> you are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like Sweet. the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon? Whew, you're braver than me. Ah, there was no question of that. <laughs> Well, you have a lovely day, Golden. You've been an absolute fucking treat to hang out with. <laughs> I don't know, I really like him. He's a really good character, but I'm going to get myself back out to somewhere I can find a campfire. Ah, dear, my battery's low. That's, that's not good. I need to go for a nap.
I can probably pug around in here for secrets and other loot and stuff off camera or something. Water's lower. I'm going by that sound. I think Lala's already at the den. Oh. I hear a drumming. <laughs> nice. This one was fun. I really enjoyed this. He was, he was a great little character. I hope I see a, a little bit more of him in in the future. But for now, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. This has been really good. So I'll just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers. And give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chat me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Jesus is fucking huge!